<laughs> Hello, it's Andrew Larson. Here I am. I watch two movies, and I'm reviewing them on my own time, just the way I like. No one can tell me what to do. I don't care. If anyone says that I can't do this, say it to my fucking wrists. The movies I'm reviewing today, two movies. Two woman-centric movies for the people. The first one, The Menu. The second one, She Said. The first one I'll review is the one I saw first, The Menu. Spoiler-free review? Uh, it's pretty funny. It feels kind of like a, a sketch comedy thing. I guess it's made by a guy who uh, worked on that show Sex Session. And if anyone likes that show Sex Session, it's a big hit. I think they're going to like this. Alright, spoiler review. So I remember seeing the trailers for this movie at the same time that the trailers for Triangle of Sadness were playing. And I couldn't tell the two movies apart because they're both class satires about wealthy people getting on a boat. And then shit happens. And I remember staring at the two posters and I'm like, which one is going to be better? Which one's going to be good? And I put my money on Triangle of Sadness as being the better one. Because that one was like a Palm Dior winner. And the menu was like a searchlight picture from Disney. My last review, I reviewed The Banshees of Inna Sharon. And I forgot to mention that I didn't want to go see that movie at all because it's a searchlight movie and I'm just not interested in watching independent films from Disney. Not interested. The Banshees of Anna Sharon I wanted to see just because of Martin McDonough. The menu just happened to be the only thing playing, otherwise I would have passed on it. But I was surprised because I thought it was actually pretty good. I was disappointed in Triangle of Sadness. I thought that was pretty bloated, pretentious, on-the-nose satire. And the menu, it's not smarter. It's stupid. It leans into its stupidity more. I think the menu is the better of the two movies. I, I'm not familiar with Sex Session. I haven't watched that show. I don't watch TV. I don't watch television. I don't like commitment. This movie is uh, full of fun, and everybody gets hurt, and it doesn't make complete sense, but it's allegorical. And it's a little cryptic. It's pretty silly. It feels it feels kind of like like a Key and Peele sketch a little bit, like a darker Key and Peele sketch. It comes from uh, Gary Sanchez Productions. This is a Will Ferrell, Adam McKay joint, directed by some guy named Mark Mylod. Mylod. Definitely looking out for Mark Mylod in the future. This is a good movie. All right, the next movie. This is a movie I just got out of just now. Just got out of the theater. And I saw She Said, the epic masterpiece of the year, uh, tackles Harvey Weinstein and the creation of the, the Me Too movement. And, uh, spoiler free review, this movie is, uh, I got a weak spot for these, like, movies if they're done well. Like, The Big Short, I liked. Bombshell, I liked. This movie, I liked a lot, too. I know th these movies can be a little self-important. This movie benefits from the fact that it's a Hollywood story being conveyed by Hollywood. So it's like meta fakeness, produced by Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, who actually has some personal stakes, stood up to Harvey Weinstein. One of the few people that did. Now he's producing this movie. Plan B produced this movie. And uh, it's classy. It's got some good acting. And it's a uh, really intense, fun watch. Alright, spoiler review. So this movie is about two ladies. And they both got babies. And they are fighters. And they take down anyone that tries to abuse their power in the workplace. They work for the New York Times, and they're out scouting, looking for any predators. And they find a predator. They just got done taking down Donald Trump. First ten minutes of this movie, is he's like the small fish. Donald Trump is the small fish. And these ladies strike him down. Humiliate him. I was clapping. Everybody laughed in the theater. There's like a, a Donald Trump cameo. His voice on the phone. It's hilarious. Great times at the movies. And then Harvey Weinstein comes, and the movie gets a little bit darker, a little bit more serious, because this is a real villain. It's fun to watch. A newspaper procedural, these women are getting to the bottom, and they're, they're, they're getting the sources, and they're convincing the victims to come out and name names. Harvey Weinstein did it. It started the Me Too movement. It resulted in Harvey Weinstein going to jail. He's in jail. He's a rapist. If you like hardcore feminist movies with uh, two beautiful women and babies uh, taking it to the man, then you're going to love this movie. Carrie Mulligan is the name of the main actress, and she is she's so powerful. 
I couldn't even take it. I was cowering in the theater. It's also important to note that the previous movie I talked about, The Menu, it also had a great uh, woman hero. Spoiler alert, she was a, a whore, a prostitute. 